I noticed this morning that my hydrangea had some nests on it with uh, caterpillars inside. A lot of people call these tent caterpillars. Tent caterpillars uh, is a common name used for a specific uh, species of caterpillar that occurs earlier in the year. This is now the end of July and uh, these will actually be sawflies or the larvae of soft sawflies. Now you can see a nest here that's just full of caterpillars. Uh, there's an old nest here that's empty. I suspect they were living in here for a couple days and uh, they've eaten up all the leaves here and now they've migrated over here and they've built a nest here. They'll, they'll eat all these leaves and then they'll migrate somewhere else. There's also another nest down there and a smaller one at the bottom. Uh, this is kind of unusual. I don't usually see a lot of these uh, on my hydrangeas, but I've seen a lot of reports this summer from southern Ontario, so I guess uh, this is a bad year for them. Now, if I left them, it wouldn't hurt the plant. They're going to eat a few leaves. The plant's good and healthy. It's growing well. It's flowering. Um, you can just leave this, and uh, they'll be fine. The plants will be back next year. But there's quite a few of them, so... I'm going to want to get rid of them, and I know most people with smaller gardens want to get rid of them, so, so what do you do? Well, option number one is you can spray all kinds of stuff on them, but that just doesn't make any sense. I mean, why do we use chemicals to treat a problem that can be treated very easily without chemicals? So don't spray. The next advice I see a lot on the internet is to burn these guys. So what you do is you wait until nighttime when they're all inside the nest and then you get some sort of a flame and you light the whole thing and the nest is burns quite easily so the idea is that you burn up all the caterpillars. Yeah, that probably works but that seems like kind of an extreme measure to get rid of these guys and uh, certainly isn't very smart in the middle of summer when things are really dry. So I would not recommend burning them. The other option is you just take a stick and you just disturb the nest and you get rid of most of it. And what will happen is most of those caterpillars will simply fall to the ground and birds will come and eat them or they'll die. A lot of them won't make it back to the plant. And I, I usually do that. If I'm out in the garden, I just happen to see one, I just disturb it with a stick, give it a shake, try to get most of them off the plant, and that usually takes care of the problem. Uh, another way to do it is this, and it's, it's quite simple. You take out your pruners, and you just cut off the whole stem. So almost all these Caterpillars, these are actually larvae. I've been calling them caterpillars, but they're, they're more properly called larvae. Um, they're all in here now. There's got to be about 50 of them in there. So what do you do now? Well, you could throw this out in your lawn, disturb it a bit, and feed the birds. Or if you really want to get rid of them, just put it on the ground and stomp on it. Okay, if you step on this a few times, they're all dead. And as long as they're not close to the plant, they're not going to crawl back, even if you miss some. So that's really the easiest solution. Have you ever had tent caterpillars or sawflies on one of your bushes? If you have, leave a comment below and tell me about it. Which method did you use to get rid of them, and how well did it work? If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Thank you very much for watching.